I'm Sergeant Perez, Coleman County Sheriff's Office, uh, currently the recruiter for the Sheriff's Office. Just like every other law enforcement agency, we have uh, folks that strive to do different things. Um, so after a while that they've been in law enforcement, they want to reach out and do another, do another venue. So they leave um, law enforcement and that's how we get our vacancies. To apply, we ask individuals to be at least 21 years of age, because you have to be 21, possess a North Carolina driver's license. If they don't have a North Carolina driver's license and they are going through the basic law enforcement training, by the time they complete it and before we pick them up to be an employee, they have to have a North Carolina driver's license. We don't require them to have college education, but they have to at least be a high school graduate or have a GED. There's, there's a lot of training. Uh, we, we will train folks in felony vehicle stops. We train folks basically how, um, uh, search and seizures. There's just so much training that these guys go through. Uh, it's gonna take a good three and a half months to get through that training. Uh, so they learn everything from start to finish, how to talk to the citizens, how to deal with the citizens. And it's just an array of uh, subjects that they're taught. The rewards is, is being out there and helping out the, uh, the citizens. That's the biggest reward, getting a pat on the back, getting a smile, getting a handshake, and folks coming up to you and say, I appreciate what you're doing. That's payment enough for any officer that's serving the community. So if an individual is interested in becoming a Cumberland County deputy, they would go to our human resource office, fill out an application. From the time I get the application, I will do a thorough background check on the individual. I'll call the individual in for a PT assessment. They pass a PT assessment, I will do a neighborhood canvas, talk to their neighbors and see what character they possess. If they're former law enforcement and they want to come and become a deputy of Cumberland County Sheriff's Office, I would go to their agency, talk to their former employers and find out what type of person they are. Were they a good officer? Is this an officer that we need to come to County Sheriff's Office? And if everything checks off, then nine times out of 10, we'll call that individual in and we'll say, hey, now we need to polygraph you and send you up for a psychological evaluation. I'm Sergeant Darren Hale, and I'm here to talk about recruitment and training for the Cumberland County Detention Center. The Cumberland County Detention Center is currently hiring detention officers uh, because law enforcement is generally known to have a high turnover rate, but especially in a detention center or jail to where it's not on the forefront of people's brains that it's actually law enforcement that people don't think when you think about a jail or detention center that there's actually a career field there. We recruit detention officers in a variety of different ways. Uh, one method we have just started using is radio advertisement. Um, we also use social media advertisement as well as we do a lot of job fairs and you know just getting out on foot talking to people handing out cards letting them know about the job because you know like I said a lot of people don't realize that being a detention officer is actually law enforcement. The basic duties of a detention officer is to provide security for the facility as well as make sure the inmates' needs are met, make sure they have their meals, make sure they make their court dates as far as make sure they receive the proper medications if they're due medications. Pretty much you just look after the individuals until they're able to go to court, released, or go off to prison. A new hired detention officer will initially go through a five-week academy to which they are fully paid at the time. Um, the academy is going to be approximately eight hours a day to where there'll be a lot of classroom time, but they'll have a lot of hands-on activities as well, so they'll learn how to safely deal with individuals, you know, as far as handcuffing and transporting inmates throughout the jail, and just dealing and communicating with inmates on your average day. Being a detention officer is a very rewarding job. Um, you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one contact with people to where you can do a lot of counseling. Um, you're going to see these people again that are inmates in the detention center on the streets again and a lot of times they will come to you and let you know how you help them out in a situation or how they just respect you for treating them as a human being while they were at a hard point a hard time in their lives when i'm approached by an individual that's interested in law enforcement um, like i said i specifically recruit for the detention center but i don't try to convince the individual to be a detention officer I'll let them know about both sides, the deputy side and the detention officer side. And I'll ask them questions about themselves to get a feel for their personality and where they're trying to go with their law enforcement career. And I'll give them the best advice I can give them as far as which direction that they should pursue. If you start out in one section, the detention, you could always go over and be a deputy. 
or vice versa. I was a deputy first and became detention officer certified second. For more information on how to become a detention officer with the Cumberland County Detention Center, you can call 672-5700, which is my office number, or you can come down to the Cumberland County Detention Center at 204 Gillespie Street.